they use cannabis for cookies and brownies and also infuse it in drink. They take hard drugs like syrup, tramadol, diazepam, cocaine, shisha mix, among others. The drug is already here with us and it's not something palatable at all. While over 36 million people suffered from drug use disorders. All too soon, it is the 10th anniversary of Real News magazine. As a way of being socially responsible, the celebration was inched on creating awareness of a prevalent issue in the society, which is of concern to all. With the arrival of invited guests at the choice venue of Sheraton Hotel and Towers, Ikeja, the event started in earnest with the preliminaries of guest recognition, preceded by the opening prayers. We beg this prayer through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The welcome address by Maureen Chigbo, the publisher, editor of Real News Magazine, who is also the convener, inched on the reason for the theme of the anniversary celebration. While appreciating the high caliber of our guests, including the attendance of our colleagues, members of Fourth Estate of the Realm. The anniversary lecture series is one of the ways Real News contributes to nation building and development by providing a forum for policy change oriented discussion by professionals, scholars, technocrats, decision makers on the way forward for our great nation and Africa in general. The ceremony was blessed with Mrs. Elizabeth Ngozi Ebe. As the chairman of the occasion, she further bought rest on the timeliness of the focus on drug abuse as the consequences can be far reaching in the society. Drug abuse constitutes the use of any substance under international control outside therapeutic indications in excessive dose levels or over an unjustified period of time. And who are the youths? It is the time of life when one is young and often means the time between childhood and adulthood. But it can also mean one's peak in terms of health or the period of life known as being a young adult. We must give it up for the organizers for their prowess in getting Brigadier General Bubamarua, the chairman and chief executive officer of National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, to deliver the main lecture on drug abuse among the youth in Africa, implication for Nigeria economy and 2023 elections. Drug abuse among youths is an issue that cannot be ignored in today's world because it is a growing concern for all countries and a problem area for humanity. In the past two decades, we have seen a dramatic rise in drug abuse around the world, and more than ever before, the situation is becoming complicated and dire. Incident of more youths abusing the psychoactive plant is fueled by society sending wrong messages to people. Today, you have all sorts of pro-cannabis groups, movements, and activists all over the place. They make it seem as if smoking cannabis is innocuous and not dangerous to health, and therefore should be an inalienable right of the smoker. The lecture was insightful and thought-provoking, which paved way for other eminent and erudite discussants to further expose the topic from different perspectives in a panel session. From my field experience, we need to get back to our families and be their friends. The culture of eating together, praying together, is virtually finished in most homes. Substance abuse is equal opportunity disorder. That is, anyone can be involved in it. Anyone. And it's so easy to be involved in. I, from Kiabes, we won't go into the dynamics of it. The only thing that we do now is to do a proper assessment and know some of the reasons why the person is abusing one drug or the other. The various presentations held the attendees and participants spellbound with information overload, which naturally elicited reactions in form of comments, questions, with answers readily provided. How can we take this message down to the result? It is important that the family unit be the starting point for educating children not to use drugs. And the as for the deviation, I'm sure most of them picked the, the message. 
if somebody will kill the mother, why would you not kill opponents in a uh, campaign and all that? The high point of the colorful ceremony was the investiture of some of the dignitaries into the real news all of fame. The cutting of the colorful cake added spice and panache to the modest events as everybody present. Rounding off the event with the closing protocol, it afforded our media team to interact with the guests and organizers, their impression and takeaways from the very colorful event. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. We appreciate that they are celebrating their 10th anniversary with a topic that is as topical as the issue of drug abuse amongst our youth. We've been observing things happening in the society and we've seen the wreck, the havoc that drug is causing, drug abuse is causing in the country. For me, I think it's a, an awakening for everyone as to the menace that we are facing as a country due to drug abuse. It's something that you can deal with. So if we all keep quiet, pretending that it's not happening, and people are dying slowly, so opening it up like this, in the midst of intellectuals and serious people, top most of the, of the uh, journalism, makes me so satisfied. The problem is so enormous, I cannot leave it for NDLA alone. It has to be a collective uh, general responsibility of all of us. Yeah, it's quite um, illuminating, uh, inspiring. It has uh, made us to appreciate uh, the enormity of uh, the, the, the problem at hand, the issue of uh, uh, drug trafficking and drug uh, taking in this country. You know, we deal with a lot of drivers on the road, especially commercial drivers, whom uh, most of the time, some of them are in the habit of taking drugs. People should not feel that uh, that drug person or that uh, uh, substance abuser or that victim is a next door neighbor that is right in your house. And you should not treat your children the way you were treated. And don't bring up uh, your children the way you were brought up because times have changed. We wish Real News magazine more success in years ahead as they bask in the euphoria of their 10th anniversary.